uh, Jayhawk Scott back again, and I'm going to talk about uh, what I selected as far as the equipment to upgrade my lighting in my little BioCube uh, to LEDs. I have done a bunch of uh, watching of videos out on on YouTube and research, and and I, based on what I had found, I decided to go with the uh, it's the Ecosotic. Panorama Pro modules. Uh, I'm going to go with two modules in the in the unit. Um, my original thought was to go with these two, and I ordered these. Um, and what they are is the Panorama Pro module here is a 14K bulb or the 14K version, and this one that's labeled Stunner. What it really is is a Panorama Pro RGB module. And what the RGB module is, is it's a controllable module. I mean, it comes with a little remote control and you have to buy an extra controller module, which is 50 bucks, to, to change the colors of it and, and the intensity and all that stuff. And, and that was my original plan, was to go with those two. But after doing more and more research, I, I concluded that I had some added costs here with the uh, with the controller that I really didn't need, and the RGB module probably wasn't necessary. So um, what I came back to, and what I later ordered was uh, the two strips here. One is uh, the 14K and uh, a, a Tinic Blue com combination, and then uh, the other one is the Atenic Blue and uh, the magenta combination. So I should have more colors than, uh, I mean not more colors than I would have had with this other thing, but I, I think I'm gonna cover all the, uh, the color spectrum that I really need here and I'll have plenty of intensity with the two. Uh, I don't think I need a third module. I've, I've read and had some other, some places say you need three modules and I'm thinking that's, after turning these things on, they're awfully bright and uh, putting a third module in that little bio cube that's an awful lot I, and I just don't know that it's necessary so and since I'm really not trying to do hard corals in the bio cube at least not at this time and I, I honestly don't see us ever trying to do that I, I don't think that the third module is necessary I, what I'm going for here is I'm going for for appearance I'm going for growth in soft corals and and uh, I'd like to get some shimmer that I don't get with uh, my current power compacts. So these, in talking about the modules that I've got, uh, that I'm going to use here, um, the, the top one here is the, the blue magenta, and the bottom one here is uh, the 14K royal blue. Um, now they look a little different and what I was kind of surprised by is I had ordered two of these uh, reflector strips to increase the intensity of the of the lights but when I opened the box on the magenta royal blue one it already had this reflector strip on it so I was like well that's cool and then but then when I opened up the attenic or the white and royal blue it didn't, and so it was kind of strange. So I used one of the uh, reflectors that I had ordered, um, and I put it on on this one. So what I end up with is is two uh, reflectors, but they're different. Um, the one that you order separately ended up being shorter than the one that came on the magenta royal blue one. And if you look at it, it makes it makes it look like there's less LEDs or there's a different size, but that's really not the case. It's just an optical illusion, and, and you start you actually line up the two units, and you start going across. All the LEDs line up, the numbers line up. It's just the reflector is shorter. Not sure why. Don't really understand that, but but they are, and they and they do look a little bit different too. The um, the one that I ordered. The reflector is a little taller than the other one, but but not much. Anyway, so that's what I'm going to go with is that. In addition 
to the, the Panorama Pro modules, when you buy these, you have to buy everything. It's like all a, ordering everything a la carte. You have to buy the ballast separate. And the ballast is, I don't know, they're like 40 bucks or 35 bucks. I got everything from Foster's and Smith. Um, here's the ballast right here. And it just looks like a little laptop power supply. It's, it's kind of small, nothing really fancy about it. And you, out of that, you've got one little line that comes out. And it looks like it could power your, your laptop. From that line, each one of these can power up to three Panorama Pro modules. But to do that, you have to get their splitter. And see if I can get this thing plugged back in here. Okay, and but to do that, you have to get their three-way splitter. <laughs> so they, they kind of nickel and dime you on this whole process, but the, the modules are only 80 or only $90, so it's not that bad to start off with. So you come around, and here's the split. This is where it goes from one to three. I don't know if how well you can see that, but you go from one line into three. And then it goes into this uh, cable cover, which really is kind of handy. Um, it's, it's really easy to pull lines out of there, and so if you wanted to keep two lines going one place and one line needed to go a different place, I'm not sure why, but, but you could very easily do that. So um, I, I think that's real... I think the way they set that up is kind of slick. Um, and then you get to the back of this, and then you just got more plugs. So I wanted to have some controllability over the intensity of these of these lights, so I bought two separate dimmers. I've got two of them here. They're pretty basic. They just look like a lamp dimmer, and they just plug, on, plug in in line to the fixture. But... It does give you the ability to control the intensity of the different modules, um, and and so they work pretty well. They're fifteen dollars a piece, and I think for the thirty bucks to have that controllability is, is really nice because I think putting those lights on that tank and just turning them on full blast to begin with will probably be too much for that tank. I mean, the the, the change from those power compacts uh, would be significant. So so I'm glad I got the dimmers. So just looking at these different lights, um, this is the royal blue white, uh, and as you can see, there's two, eight of the uh, 14k white and four of the of the royal blue. So it is mostly a white fixture, but it does give you some royal blue color, and that's that's on the low. And then you, as you can see, I turn it up. It gets really quite bright. It's amazingly bright. Um, so if I turn that one off and then turn on the other one, you can see here this is mostly royal blue. So what it turns out is I have a whole strip of royal blue and um, a little bit of magenta and most of a strip of, of the 14K. So. I think it'll it'll make the tank look really good. And again, you can control the intensity with the uh, with the dimmers. And uh, so I just have to take and take the hood apart and stick these things in there. The only concern I've got is is the fans. Uh, I well, I don't know that I have to have fans with these units. I wouldn't mind still having one of those fans running just to keep keep that area a little bit uh, cooler. Um, I don't think these things put off a lot of heat, but you know, you're basically putting them in an enclosed area. So uh, I, I think I will try to figure out some way to, to, uh, to cool that, to draw that air out of there. So, but that's my plan. That's, that's what I've got right now. And I'm, like I said, I'm planning on returning these back to Foster's and Smith. So, but uh, I'm going to go with the two, and I think it'll look really good, and I think it will really make that tank look a whole lot better, and I'm hoping that because I'm going with the LEDs instead of the power compacts that I'll actually be able to lose the chiller and, and not have to run the chiller because if I can get rid of the chiller, I can run a smaller return pump, uh, saves electricity. These uh, Panorama Pros are going to save electricity already over the power compacts. 
and uh, so I'm all about trying to cut my electrical bill. So, anyways, that's all I got for now. Um, next video, I'll show the the tear down of the uh, power compacts and the installation of the LEDs. So that's all I got for now. Um, again, thanks for uh, for watching my videos. And any comments or suggestions you got, please don't don't hesitate to to put them in the notes. Um, and I want to say thank you again to all my new subscribers. I've had a bunch of new subscribers over the last couple of weeks, and I just wanted to say thank you for taking the time to subscribe to my channel. I hope you find the information on my channel uh, informative, if if not a, a, a way of saying what not to do. <laughs> so, anyways, uh, have a great day, and I'll see you on the next video.